When I was a girl, I read a newspaper column that I remember to this day. It was written from the point of view of a teenaged boy lying in the morgue. He couldn't bear to look up at the anguished faces of his parents who'd come to identify him after a car crash. And that one thing is the reason I've always worn a seatbelt and have never driven after drinking. Now the State Patrol is hoping it's produced the one thing that can reach a new generation. It's called How to Save a Life. Well, there goes Mr. Speed King himself passing on a curve. Most kids will see a carload of driver safety material before they earn their own set of keys. Hey, hey what's the big idea? But there's something different. Five zero five. The whole presentation was very emotional. About how to save a life. I was crying pretty much the whole class period. Which mixes crash scene reality. My first reaction was... Which is grim enough. Whoa. Every case that we show is a case from Minnesota. With even grimmer testimony. Killed my friend that was in the car with me. Of the emotional aftermath. Texting while you are driving is can be very dangerous. So we can talk about 200 people dying and why do you wear your seatbelt? We can talk to her blue in the face, but we show this video for 15 minutes and it puts it in a whole different perspective. Sunny days seem to hurt the most. Maybe because the videos got an honesty we've lost. Somewhere in the soft focus, sunbeamed piece of the roadside marker, the video reveals the truth. There is nothing peaceful about this place. And the reality is people don't just die in traffic crashes. They're killed violently. It's got an honesty that's gotten masked in the moment of glory. It seems like a kid gets at a funeral crowded with kids he's never talked to. The truth, there is no glory in death by drunk driving. Just ask the little sister left behind. Going out to see the car was probably the worst for me because I felt I could experience what she really went through. Better yet. Don't drink a drive, don't take the chance. Ask the boy. I mean, you could, you could make it home safely a thousand times. Who killed his friend. But it's just that one time. While driving drunk. That can change your life forever. And it's no coincidence. My skull, eye socket, cheek, and jaw were severely crushed. The voices of the video Whenever are young. I'm in the car with somebody and they're not wearing their seatbelt, I tell them they should. Where that's our target audience and to have a 40 or 50 year old or even a 30 year old or even a 25 year old trooper talking to a 16 year old, it just didn't seem to have the value that someone their own age speaking directly to them would have. And yet part of what makes the video work in this age group is that every time if you're gonna die of a non-natural cause of death it's presented it will be to a high school class in a vehicle by an actual road trooper 74 percent chance of that not a community service officer or a safety educator last year alone we lost 52 people in your age group but someone who carries his or her 52 high school students hard-earned worldview i've seen over 200 dead bodies in my 23 years from the highway the chance of dying in a vehicle crash into the high school are astronomically higher than me getting shot I'm wearing a bulletproof vest right now. And few. If I had to choose and I was only given one choice. Have embraced this role. Bulletproof vest or a seatbelt. More than Sergeant Kurt Thermos. It's a seatbelt. Who was at St. Thomas Academy last week. I'm taking this vest off like that. What do you guys think? It gets deathly silent, silent every time after it's done. Someone's gonna have to answer up. And it really does suck the air out of the room when it's done because it's so powerful and you can see it in their faces when, they, when they're watching it that they, they're not used to seeing it and it's sparking a, an emotion inside of them that that age group isn't used to showing, especially in front of their peers. Thermos was in these kids' Eastview class last semester. They wrote about the experience. The presentation also showed me the other side of driving. I was really excited about it and now I'm scared because I realized how many things could happen. I came into class not thinking too much about it and goofing around. I just can't take them seriously with those funny I know hats. now that the road is 
a dangerous place, and bad things don't just happen to bad people. Once State Trooper Thermos started the video, I knew that this was one lesson nobody would laugh at. The things that were in the video opened my eyes and I realized that things like that really happen to regular people like us. Even if you're not drinking, you can still be involved in an accident. That night, when my family was driving to a restaurant, I made sure everyone had their seatbelts on and that my dad was driving safely in the bed weather we had. And I'd much rather talk to you today in this venue than be required to put on this campaign hat. Make a walk down a sidewalk to your front door and knock on it. That is the worst part of my job by far. I hate it. Behind the door, Lieutenant Matt Langer knocks on this evening. Greg, my other brother in law, Mark, is a family. Sister in law, Diane, thanks for having me. That knows death. Driving up here tonight um, was exactly like doing a death notification. And Brianna Reamer didn't come home. But that was two and a half years ago now. And ever since, her family has done everything possible to keep other kids from dying on the road like Brianna did. Well, we, on behalf of the State Patrol, appreciate your family's willingness to step forward and be a part of this video. Her sister Amanda is part of the How to Save a Life video. The family is watching it this night I have my lawyer fees. for the first time. And I'll never get to hang out with my sister and go shopping with her, I guess. It's not about being cool. I was there when Amanda was being videotaped, and, and I was bawling just watching her. I, I was thinking maybe I should just take her out of there. It was, it was very difficult for her to talk about it, and she broke down and cried quite a bit. Not an easy thing. This is a very powerful movie, oh, I it think. Is. Yes, yes. Very, yeah. very powerful. But an important one. It's real. It's real. <laughs> it's, it shows it like it is, and that's what kids, especially kids, need to see because this is real life and you got to take it seriously. For a family whose very emotional survival depended on transforming their loss into someone else's life lesson. I don't think I'll ever forget the things I learned and saw and hopefully this will impact my driving later on in a positive way. I think she would have wanted us to help save people's lives by talking about what happened. Some students say they're so affected by the video that when they hear the music from it on their car radios, they actually stop and think about how they're driving. One school played the music during passing time to reinforce the video's message. If you'd like a trooper to come to your school, log on to myfox9.com and click on How to Save a Life. We'll link you to the Minnesota State Patrol. I'm Trish Van Pilsom for Fox 9 News.